in this ultrasound study, you are seeing the liver and uh, the right hemidiaphragm. And this is the gallbladder, the portal vein. All are normal. This is, these are, this is the right hepatic vein, no pleurophy, and normal liver, primal echogenicity, no, no anomaly relating to the uh, to the liver. This is the median loba fissure. This is the right portal vein, and this is the ligamentum teres. Now here, this is the right kidney, which shows uh, normally. It, which is normal by all parameters. This is the transfer section of the kidney. Coming over towards the spleen. This is the spleen. This is the left hemidiaphragm. Spleen measures 11.3 is not enlarged from pole to pole. This is the left kidney. Now the left kidney is normal, upper pole, lower pole, mid region. No calculus, nothing. This is the dependent region peritoneal cavity. The urinary bladder is normal. Prostate is fine. There is uh, no bowel related pathology seen over here. No ascites. Now our scene is, in fact, in the mid epigastrium. We see cystic area. Two cystic areas. Now this is one cystic area. This is the second cystic area. And remember, this is the kidney in transfer section. This is the pancreatic body. This is the splenic vein. This is the aorta. This is the kidney in transfer section. And this is the kidney in longitudinal section. And uh, the upper pole of the kidney is spared of any cochlea. Now this, uh, uh, echogenic area, sorry, uh, this uh, cystic area that shows internal septals is full of low strength internal echoes at the margin. <coughs> at the margin, you will see tiny echogenic particles, calcifications, and this just is simple, uh, does not show that much of. Uh, Echoes except dependent region uh, echoes. Now you see the thick wall of the cyst. Wall is thick. It's midline, anterior to the body of the uh, pancreas. Now you see tail of the pancreas is not visualized. This is the this is the pancreas, this is the superior mesenteric vein, superior mesenteric artery, left renal vein and between the IVC, this is the IVC and this is the aorta. These, this is the eco-filled cyst with thick walls, with septas and with marginal calcifications. Now this is the other one which is in the lesser sac and it measures approximately Forty-nine point twenty-seven centimeters. Now the volume of this uh, there is no paraortic plan adenopathy seen. The this is the aorta. I wish I can show you the head of the pancreas. This is the this is the head of the pancreas. <coughs> and from here we do see an echo filled cystic area. This is the longitudinal section of the larger one. It's retroperitoneal in location with a small pocket in the... Now this is the pocket in the lesser sac. This is the retroperitoneal location. And this is the kidney in, it, uh, in transfer section again. The pancreas, the splenic vein, the aorta. 
so it uh, can the approximate volume of this aquifer is 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 this is approximate calculated volume which is more than 621 ml but when uh, surgical intervention will be performed or aspirated it will go up to 700 ml <coughs> So this is a retroperitoneal uh, cystic, complicated cystic. And you can see the posterior wall enhancement. This is the posterior wall enhancement from this is this bright area is the cystic, is the posterior wall or strong back wall from this cyst in the lesser side. And this retroperitoneal pseudopancreatic cyst. Now these are two cysts. These are two separate uh, pseudopancreatic cysts. One is in the lesser sac, this one, and the other is in the, uh, relating to the tail of the pancreas. Because the tail of the pancreas is not realized. This is the pancreatic duct. This is the body of the pancreas. And uh, this is the aquifer cyst. So this is a case of pseudopancreatic cyst of the tail of the pancreas with an extension in the lesser sac. Thank you.